Hey guys, my name is Scobie and welcome back to another video. Today's video I'm going to be showing you how to create and set up your own crew link server. This is going to be a nice quick and easy tutorial. I'm going to be showing you step by step how to do everything. Let's jump right into this. This is going to be an update to my previous video as some things have already changed, even though my other video is only two days old. So I'm just going to be doing an update so I can show you everything that needs to be done so it's as easy as possible. So I will mention for today's video, I'm not actually going to be showing you how to set up or play with Crewlink. I'm only going to be showing you how to create a server for Crewlink so you'll be able to host and use your own server. If you would like to see a full video showing you how to set up and use Crewlink, I'm going to be leaving a card on screen and a link in the description down below to my previous video where I show you how to do that. It's really, really easy to do. I'm I'm just not going to be showing you that in today's video. One last thing I will mention is I am not the creator of Crewlink. It is by another person named Automated. I'm going to be leaving a link to all his social media donation links and his discord in the description down below. They're all a really great resource for information and advice if you're looking for something specific or if you're looking for some people to play with it can be a great place to check out. So I'm going to be leaving all of his social media and everything linked in the description down below. If you really like this Crewlink project and you like using it in Among Us it is definitely worth checking him out and making sure to support him. So the first thing you need to do is come to this link. Links is always in the description down below. And this is going to be for the Heroku website. This is going to be the hosting we're going to be using for our server in today's video. It is 100% free to get started with. However, it does allow from 550 to 1000 hours of free use. You don't need to enter any credit card or any payment information to get started. However, I will be talking about the pricing later in the video. So what we need to do is come to this link. We're going to be coming up to the top right of this page and we're either going to be clicking sign up if you don't have an account or log in if you already have an existing account. So once your Heroku account is created, we're ready to actually set up and create our server. We can do this by coming to the GitHub page. Again, links is in the description down below. And this is going to be for the Crewlink server GitHub. What we need to do is scroll down here on the homepage of this until we see the section deploy to Heroku. So we can actually do this really easily from here. All we need to do is click this button here, deploy to Heroku, and it will be automatically redirected to Heroku as long as you're logged in. And we can create a new app here right away. So I'm just going to be naming it Crewlink server new. We can select a region for our server. In this case, I'm going to be choosing Europe. And again, we will have the option to add it to a pipeline. If this is something you would like to do feel free to do this however i'm just going to be removing this and leaving it without a pipeline and then the last thing we need to do here is simply click deploy app and then our app will start to deploy we'll see all the process and all the different things it's doing here below and this can take a couple minutes to fully finalize and have everything ready from this point what we're going to be doing is going to the manage app which is going to bring us to the settings and details of the app we just created from this point there is going to have to be one thing we're going to need to change for our app to fully work if we try to open the app on a new screen we're going to get the application error right here to change this what we need to do is come back to crewlink we're going to be clicking on settings and here what we're going to do is change the variable config for this app to change this what we need to do is come here click on reveal variable config what we're going to be doing is typing some data into the key and value field to be able to update our app what we're going to be typing in the key area is address and for the value what we're going to need to do is open our app again we are going to be getting this error but we're going to be copying the url from this simply copy and paste it into the value field so we're going to be pasting our full url here we're going to be clicking add and now our new address valuable will be added what we can do is close down our old tab and if we open the app again we should now be brought to the crewlink server here we will see our crewlink url so this url will be the exact same as our url above we'll see how many people are currently connected and we will also get a direct link to the crewlink github server so you can click here and you can open this easily in a new tab if you ever need to find it again now once you have all of your settings done what we're going to be doing is opening up crewlink we're going to be clicking on the cogwheel on the top left and we're going to be replacing our voice server with the new server we just created so what we can do is come here to this url copy and paste the url web page we are currently in up here in the url bar and we're going to be pasting it into the voice server we're then going to have to close and reopen crewlink for this to work and from this point you can feel free to open up among us now when you open among us you'll see you're instantly brought to the menu right here from this point you can feel free to join any lobby i'm just going to be opening up and joining any public game and you'll instantly see once i join you'll get to see my profile character right here you'll see all other users in the lobby they will all have red circles around them because none of them are actually connected to crewlink what i'm going to be doing is putting some other footage on screen of me playing with my friend robbie where you can see both of our circles are actually green which means we are connected fully to the server and we were able to connect and talk to each other so as mentioned at the start of the video this is not 100 percent free however it does not require adding any credit card or any sort of payment information until you actually want to upgrade and use a higher amount of data so if we look at the free version here what we can see is we can try heroku with no commitment we get somewhere between 500 and 1000 hours per month so you will be able to get a lot of playtime depending on how much your server is used we'll be able to deploy with kit and docker we can add custom domains we can add container orchestration 
automatic OS patching. And if we click on the full specs here, there is some nice features involved in this. And even when you're not using the app, it will actually go to sleep after 30 minutes of inactivity. So you're not actually wasting a bunch of time when you're not using the app. As you can see, I'm currently on my apps page right now. I can see my cooling server right here. And you can see it's currently in sleep mode. As you can see the Z's here, if I hover over this, it says app is asleep, which means it's not using any of our allocated time, which is really nice to see. So when you're not using your app for about 30 minutes, it will automatically go into sleep mode. So you're not using any of your free time hours. So only when people are using it or accessing it, those are the only times when your apps will actually be used. So these are all really, really nice features and really allow you to customize and make sure you're not using too much. So it's a great way to test. And if you're enjoying and using Heroku a lot for your cooling server, I would recommend updating to any of the other servers here that makes most sense to you. So it is recommended to check these out, reach through everything, test it out for a little bit, see what works best for you, and then maybe upgrade to one of the higher servers if you need to do that. If you're having any issues with your app and you'd like to update or rebuild it or automatically refresh everything, what you can do is come to your app page. We can click on more right here. And what we're going to be clicking here is restart all dinos. Now this might take a little bit of time and your server will be down for a little bit of time while this is resetting. However, this can sometimes fix some issues. So I'd recommend doing this at first if you're having any issues. You can simply click restart all dinos. And then what it's going to do is fully rebuild and restart the server. So this can take a little bit of time to do this. However, it does work really well. And as mentioned, this is kind of a freemium model. So you do have a limited amount of hours to use for free. However, when we're in our app overview, we will have options to install add-ons and also some dino formations. So what you can do is click here, configure add-ons, and you have a number of different things that you can add on and add here. And the same with the dino options. If we select this open, there's a number of different things. Just keep in mind, this will be a monthly cost. So depending on what you're using this for and depending on how you want to set up everything, it will depend on that. So it's really, really easy to set up your own server in Crewlink. Once you have everything set up and used in Heroku, it works really, really well and I didn't have any issues. So if you want to share this with other people, you simply copy that URL that we copied from Crewlink, send it to any other people that you want to use Crewlink with, and then everyone else should be able to join that. Now at the moment, I'm not sure what the maximum allocated number of people that can join this server at one time is. I was able to join with up to four or five people without any issues. However, your usage may vary. If you're having any issues, let me know in the comments down below and I'll feel free to help however I can. Anyway guys, it's as easy as that to create your own Crewlink server. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to drop a like. Subscribe if you're new, check out the other videos on the channel. I'm going to be leaving a link down below to my PayPal if you found these videos helpful and you want to support me. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching and until next time as always, keep it saucy, peace.